Hey, all you committee members out there, is this what your labor management committee looks like? Doom the animals! They're gonna protect the animals from doom! Then you need an operating agreement. An operating agreement can define your labor management committee's mission, standardize your procedures, and make your meetings more productive. Chalk full of 12 sections or more, the operating agreement contains everything you'll need to successfully communicate and document your committee's protocols. Does this sound familiar? If we're not going to get to address grievances, then why are we here? I thought the purpose of these meetings was to generate ideas on how to change the contract. That's not what I thought. I thought we were here to work on our relationship. Without a preamble to an operating agreement, your committee is already starting off on the wrong foot. The preamble identifies your committee's purpose and goals, outlines the types of issues it will deal with, and sets the limitations of its jurisdiction. The preamble is available exclusively in the amazing operating agreement. Oh no, not again! Meetings are so frustrating when you don't have even representation from labor and management, and no one likes to be outnumbered. The solution is here. An operating agreement's committee composition section defines the minimum and maximum number of people on your committee and identifies a chair for each team. Has this ever happened with your new members? Well, maybe we should get the perspective of someone new. Uh, Casey, what do you think? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm in the right room or not. This is the event planning committee, isn't it? Rookies without a clue are a drag. Why not have an operating agreement that details your process for new member orientation? With an operating agreement, introducing, training, and debriefing new committee members is a snap. Now. Let's watch these committee co-chairs try to run a meeting without having their roles defined in an operating agreement. I thought you were supposed to bring the agenda. You assume just because I'm labor that I'm doing all the work? You're the one with all the issues. Fine. You want to hear about my issues? I don't need an agenda for that. Bring it. Don't let this happen to you. Instead, Detail the committee co-chair's responsibilities in your very own operating agreement. This section gives you the chance to designate the authority and duties of your co-chairs. But wait! There's more! You can also put into writing when the co-chairs exchange agenda items, how they finalize meeting agendas, and how they communicate with committee members. Folks, this is an amazing opportunity. Don't miss out. But what about preparation, you ask? Well, the operating agreement's got you covered. With not one, but two sections about preparation. You could detail your policies on the agenda item submissions and define your process for meeting preparation. No more floundering around wondering how to bring up or research issues. The agenda preparation and preparatory meeting sections identify procedures for all the work that goes on outside the meeting room. Let's talk about the nitty gritty, because it's all in the details, folks. This operating agreement not only states the minimum number of meetings your committee should hold each year, but the minimum number of members that must be in attendance. Not sure what the rules are around subcommittees? The operating agreement spells it out. And look at this. Even a section that documents how your meeting notes are recorded and distributed. I don't have to tell you how valuable that is. But what do you do when your teams just can't agree? Pick up and go home? Well, look at this feature. Designed right into the operating agreement is a clause about dispute resolution you get the opportunity to put in writing exactly what steps to take when your LMC has tried repeatedly but can't reach a resolution. Before we had an operating agreement, our committee had no sense of direction or protocol. Taking the time to write our operating agreement was the best investment we ever made. Thank you, operating agreement. So what are you waiting for? Act now. No more wasting your time in unproductive meetings. 
The operating agreement is yours for the making, and your satisfaction is guaranteed. Use the operating agreement worksheet to start fleshing out your committee's operating agreement today.